Thank you for joining me today. This is Dosu24 here with the Part 9 tour of the USS Dangerous. This is the last tour of the ship. If you watch Parts 1 through 8, you would see all the insides of the ship, the bridge, the engine room. So in this one, we'll be showing you the nacelles of the ship and the aft end part of the ship as well. Looks like it's just having a little trouble loading in, but you'll see everything when we go through the ship. And I'll take you around this area. And to get to the nacelles, you just come through Shuttle Bay. If you want to see more of Shuttle Bay, watch tour part one tour of the USS Dangerous. But you just basically come through Shuttle Bay, either come to the left or the right of the ship, and you'll see a, some doors here. And just come through. And you'll get to the aft end part of the ship, which would lead you up to the nacelles. So as you can see, it comes all the way around. And you can go up to the other side of Shuttle Bay. Down here, we have our aft cannons, which you could see more in our part six tour, excuse me, the part five tour of the USS Dangerous, showing off the weapons quarters and the weapons part of the ships, of the ship. I don't know why there's a block in the middle there. Take that off. But you can see more of these, like I said, in the part six, five, part five tour of the ship. Taking you back up. Take you to the nacelles. So either to the right or the left go up the set of stairs here and it'll take you up to a set of ladders and then you'd be in the nacelle part of the ship in the back ends where basically you can go to warp drive as you can see the water and the lava on top and bottom water acts as the antimatter and or the lava is the antimatter the water is the matter They're pretty big, they're pretty roomy. You can hide up in here if I'm battling or you know, if we're having a battle, we can come up into here, fight our way through. And this is the back end of the nacelles. It's from the fire on the outside. And if you go to the front, you can get down into the warp engine room down here. And basically, if you remember in the Part 4 tour, we had the warp drive controls in the engine room. If you flip that switch, it sends a signal from underneath the ship the way to the nacelles on both sides of the ship. And as you can see from the redstone torch, you have your pistons and your note blocks, which are sitting on top of jukebox. That's why it gives it that deep sound. And it sends a signal from the engine room, sends a signal up here. And it sends it to turn on the five clock circuit to have running. I'm using a five clock instead of a three clock because so, I don't need to hide it. And plus, I could run more. I could run more redstone uh, on all sides, get more pistons and no blocks in there. As you can see, it runs all the way through the bottom of the ship. What I really originally wanted to do was put sand on the pistons leading up into the nacelle so you could see them coming up and down. I decided not to go with that. Maybe in the next one. So let's head back. I'm just going to take you to the other side. Past all these. And the other side is pretty much the same as well. Uh, nothing really different So I mean if you guys do have any questions or would like to see a tutorial on something that you have seen here today in this video or Anything that you've seen throughout the ship uh, Just write them in the comments below or you can email me at the address I have provided at the bottom as well Also, if you like what you've seen with this ship you can come to my channel doser24 and we have a variety of tutorial videos such as sliding doors, uh, three clock repeaters, 
um, you know, shuttle bay doors, uh, so on and so forth. And you can check uh, check out a variety of those uh, those videos as well. And then we also have coming out views of the new ship that I'm building, the USS Uncompliant. That's going to be a much bigger ship. And I'm excited to show you guys that, and that'll be coming up in the later videos in the upcoming months. And as you can see, it's just the same setup as the other side. So if you guys like what you saw here, just like and subscribe to the channel. And you guys can see the latest videos that I'll have out. And I'll just leave you with this view of the ship. And you guys have a great day.